first one we'll call is in search and it'll take a memory block and an offset into that memory blocks buffer and this macro will allow us to query an individual flag so it will be the byte in the search mask that is the offset divided by 8 so that will find which of the groups of 8 bits this offset corresponds to and then we need to mask that with the individual bit within that byte which is one shift the offset mod 8 so say for example you wanted to find the flag for the for byte 20 in the buffer you would do 20 integer divide 8 which is 2 so it would search byte 2 in the search mask and within that byte it would be 20 mod 8 which is 4 so it would search bit 4 of byte 2 and as well as that macro we need another macro and we'll call it remove from search and this will clear the corresponding flag once we decide that it should be discarded from a search so it will be mb search mask in the same way as it was above and we'll mask that particular bit by I'll just copy it again So again, if we wanted to remove byte 20 from the search, it would pick out mask byte 2, bit 4, and clear it. We also need to take care of freeing our new search mask buffer when we free a mem block. So we can do if and we search mask, free it. that's the search mask buffer. For the other new values we have matches and data size. Well initially the number of matches is going to just be the number of bytes in the buffer because we assume that at the start you want to search everything so it's just the region size. And for the new data size value well we'll adjust the create membox function to take it in as a parameter and we'll just assign it in here and that means we also need to adjust create scan to take in the data size 2 and we'll just pass it there and finally we need to modify our little test and we'll just hard code the data size as 4 for now. Now one thing I want to do is remove the call to update mem block from within create scan because update mem block is about to get more complicated and we don't want to have to pass in various bits of data through create scan as well just to cause an update so we'll remove it from create scan and we do have this outside function called update scan that we wrote previously and from now on we'll be using that to perform the search and do all mem copies from the process and things like that so create scan will just literally create the structures ready to do a scan so for our test harness that we've got so far we just need to add update scan in there as well now Right, now we can implement the search code. I'm going to make an enum called search condition. And this is going to hold the different conditions that we might want to search under. So the first one is going to be called unconditional, which is the search we're doing currently, as in we're not 
discarding bytes on any particular condition in the update function. We're considering every byte. And then the next condition will be condition equals. This is where we only want to include a byte in the search if it matches a particular value. And then later on we'll also implement condition increased and decreased. That's where we want to include the byte in the search if its value has increased or decreased from last time, the last search we did. So let's change update mem block to reflect that now. So we've got and we'll also make it take a value. So if we're searching on the equals condition, the value val will hold the value that we want to compare against. Within the code we first want to reset the number of matches to zero because we haven't found any yet in this new update. And here is where we will perform the search and set the search mask flags correspondingly. Now the unconditional case is a special case because when we don't actually need to compare anything. So we'll take care of that. All we do in the unconditional case is set the search mask uh, flags to true for the bytes we've just read. So that would be search mask plus the total read so far, but remember that we combine a group of eight flags into one byte, so it's total red divided by eight, and we'll set them all to one, and the amount to set is bytes red divided by eight, and then we just need to update the number of matches to include the latest group of bytes red. So that takes care of the unconditional case. For the other conditional cases, we will loop through each byte in the temporary buffer. So we need a new variable, and we'll call it offset. And then we will loop through, so offset starts as zero. And that's our exit condition. And each time around the loop, we will add on the data size. So for example if the data size is 4 we will jump 4 bytes with the offset each time round. Now this is where our is in search macro comes in. As we check the current offset byte which is total red so far plus the offset into this buffer because this offset is the offset into temp buff so the overall offset is total red plus our local offset so we check is that byte still in the search if it is then we now need to perform whatever search is necessary on it so we'll make a variable called is match and we'll default it to false and we'll also get a temporary value that we'll use for the comparison. So depending on the data size that we've decided upon, we'll set temp val accordingly. So in the case of byte size, temp val is just simply that byte in the offset, because offset is already an unsigned Big band temp buff is already an, uh, an unsigned char pointer, so temp val will just dereference one byte there. In the case of two bytes, we make temp val equal to a two byte value, which is an unsigned short, so we will cast the appropriate place in temp buff to an unsigned short pointer and then dereference that. 